Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 14 of my Terraria Revengeance Mode Summoner playthrough. And got a giant clan boss here. Also, there's a lab. And I don't know if it's safe or not, honestly. Oh, nope, it's not safe. Okay. There's also a mine shaft right here. Oh, thank you for that. No, don't shoot at me. There we go. There we are. Okay, you're dead. Um, I did find another magic mirror, which I'm just going to put like right here. So I can come back here. You know, I've got this wonderful sonar gun here, right? Sonar ray. Was that Lucky Heart of Stone? From Thorium. While equipped, your defense will be increased based on your depth. Well, that's kind of interesting now, isn't it? Oh, nope. There we go. A little bit of light in the situation here. I wonder if I can actually aggro the giant clan with this. No, it just bounces over them. Okay. Why is that thing like linked there too? Get a little bit of shade rain action going. Ow. Definitely going down a lot quicker this time, isn't he? Oh, hey, there's golems down here, too. Golden, silver golem. Oh, he's releasing... Releasing the babies. Amadeus is uh, throwing a party. Okay, well, the giant clam is dead. And... Just got the little clams here. So hooray for money. Now right, let's check this place out a bit more here. Like how am I supposed to get into here? Also here, just kill those things, would you? Thank you. Okay, let's not go that close in. Uh can I check on the map here? Oh wow, that's actually a good size one too. Um Right. Wrong button. And we have a flammable martyred giant clam, the giant clam here. I really should be like going back to base and like dropping stuff off, but Okay, am I Yeah, okay. Hey, all right, cool. Fresh air. Let's walk back onto the balloons. Ah, okay. Thank you for that. Uh, probably go down this way. I'm trying to stay out of range of the turret because I can't get to it quite yet. Mushroom biome there. Okay, and there's another turret there. Okay, I see that turret without a problem. I'm supposed to get into this place. Oop. That was an extra shot I didn't mean to do. Freaking heart crystal mimic. Ah. Great, and I got a turret that's going to be shooting at me here. Oh. 
All right, good. It's dead. So what's in here anyway? Uh, magic mirror, potion. That's worth a shot, right? Oh yeah, no, it still sees me. Okay. Um, ow. Jerk. He says this one doesn't hurt quite as bad. Probably because like, I had better armor on. All right, what do we see here? I see really nothing that looks like a door. That might be a doorway over there, but it's surrounded by water. I don't want to like flood the place. Let me freaking up. All right, turret is destroyed. Like, how am I supposed to get out of here? Like up maybe? All right. That's definitely a doorway there. What is this? I don't know. Hmm. Heal. Alright, and the chest with Raiden's Log, study on sunken aquatic life. Uh, encrypted schematic. Raiden's charging station, two more of those, okay. Money. Life Force Potions. All right, cool. Notify the security department of any aggressive local fauna immediately. All right, good to know. Oh, look, there's a silverfish. Right, so if I take... Bust that out. Um, yeah, I'll need that. I can get in and out this way, okay. And uh, raw fish, okay. I don't think he dropped that. So we have another lab that I uh, pacified. There we go. Climbable murder giant clam is no longer after you. Well, he wouldn't after me in the first place. Lucky heart of stone. That's kind of interesting and new. I had plating. I was just killing time. I was exploring the uh, the underground desert, collecting some stuff and things. And uh, you know, honestly, I never remember to use that, so it can just go away. Same with that. Honestly, it doesn't last long enough to be all that good. I keep forgetting I have the flippin' book barrier. It's five free hits. I granted I can't do anything while the barrier's up, but it's still five free hits. Alright, so let's see. I guess go back and grab the stuff now, honestly. Um Alright, so What all did I get here? I get the raw fish, get some stone, glow stick, okay. So this is the only chest in here, huh? Uh, no, can I just do a loot all instead? Thank you. Uh, this thing can go. There we go. What is this? Laboratory server. Hmm, cool. I can grab the chest now. That was a red name. Oh, fuel factories. Okay. Now. Did I pick it up? Navy plate. 
Resonates with otherworldly energy. More fuel factories. Okay, I'll take those. Oh, there's a chest right here. Okay, derp. Um, do it all? Sweet. I'll bet. Now, I don't think I need... Uh, where I get that? From there. I don't need the raw fish. I need stone. The glass is kind of up for grabs right now. And that is a sea prism crystal. Okay. I don't need that marble. Okay. That was kind of a cool setup. I like it. Wing clipper, blue jellyfish. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any more like functional furniture. Not really thinking right now there is. No more chests. No more... Uh, the fuel factories. Lots of decorative stuff, though. Lots of decorative stuff. Definitely cool. Okay, yeah, let's uh, head back. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what this navy plate is used for, too. Come on. Up we go, there we go. Right, and... Lap? Tell me this. Um... Navy plate, here we go. Eldritch Soul Artifact. Boost melee speed by 10%, shoot speed by 20, shot speed by 20, rogue damage by 15, max minions by 2, and reduces mana cost by 15%. That is definitely in game. That's uh, Exodium and Phantoplasm, yeah. Or I can make a wall out of it. All right. So I'm gonna want to get that stuff, but just not quite yet. It's not a, not a huge thing. Blood rain, blood rain detected. Vial deluge. Now unique enemies do show up during those events, actually. Uh, encrypted schematic. Feeling I'll be able to unencrypt that later. Security chest, uh, fuel factory times four. Not bad. And I'll put the same staff away for now. So it says click to view contents. Oh, well, look at that. Bye. No. Reserved for millennia. A paradise for living beings who sought shelter in prehistoric seas. Remain untouched by evolution, save for their adaptations to the oxygen starved waters and dim crystals uh, continuing to thrive on mystery. Continues to escape my understanding, however, is how large some of the creatures have become. There is a blatant lack of nutrition and oxygen in the in the caves, and yet dot dot dot. Okay, cool. So, I'm not going to bother reading that on camera. Well, any more of it on camera, anyway. One thing I get is stupid close to my monitor. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the wiki as well, so. Poor goldfish. Just got splatted. Alright, cool. So, four more of those fuel factories running now. And this one's got 392. Wow, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, got all those taken care of, and one thing I forgot about. I have this guy over here. Uh, Airlight, Aquaite, Magma Ore, Life Quartz, Thorium, Smooth Coal. Demonite, gold, silver, iron, and copper. So even with the molten pick, I don't get hellstone ore yet. Which is a little bit of a shame, but 
mean, honestly, I get a lot of everything else, so kind of nice to have. Also, I got 15 circuitry and 22 dubious plating. But let's see, it is almost nighttime. Should be able to check out part of the Vile Deluge event here. I think it's over with now, actually. Oh no, it's uh, there's a little bit of stuff falling here and there. But like, no real enemies. Oh, there's some eaters, okay. Here they come. Maybe. Honestly, nothing. I still haven't killed the eater worlds yet, either. Yeah, there's like no enemies at all here. There's a... I've run into him before. There's actually an enemy that shows up pre-hard mode. That can uh, drop cursed flames. What the hell is that noise? Yeah, I have no idea what's making that noise occasionally. Weird. So I have no idea what did the bubbles or the uh, the bubble flowers either. Absolutely clueless. Hey, we're in the jungle. So while we're here, actually, it's part of my plan anyway. Mosquito mother. Mosquito hatchling, huh? Oh, she, he's pissing. Is that, is that all she does now is just do lunge attacks now? Oh, look at that, she's dead. So we have, well, we got the goodie bag there, but she dropped Mosquito Fang. Melee attacks have a chance to heal you. You're immune to bleeding. That's not bad. Mosquito Skin, Mosquito's Bite, and more Mosquito Dust. Okay. Oh, there went another Snatcher. I, that's my second one I found. I decided to go after banners. Those guys are probably some of the worst to try to get. Alright, well, I guess time to head back to base then. Honestly. See, if nothing else, I can see what the mosquito skin makes. And I got another hook. Hooray.
And I'm thinking it might not be a bad time to make some more houses. Nothing else I can get the uh, uh, the witch doctor. The mosquito skin. Melee, ranged, magic. Okay, so it's more of the generic stuff. Okay. Uh, L-U-I-F-K's harvester parts are pretty good too. And I got a fox outfit. I almost said shirt and it's just like, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's the whole thing. Uh, I'm just going to sell that, honestly. Don't really care. Same with that. And, yeah. The rest of the stuff can get put away, I think. Might come up with the use of it eventually. Now, let's see. Yeah, this grouping of rooms here is it's full. Oh, sweet. 50 bunnies. I got a bunny banner. Now, are there any rooms in here? Hey, no. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, he's there. He's just hiding in the corner. All right. How about over this way? Yeah, there's like nobody over here. So there's one room, two, three. No, well, I can make that several rooms actually. And then right here is a room. It's not full. Uh, I can make that a room. That way I don't have to patch the wall up. Yeah, I can do this. So I completely forgot, but some point in the past, I actually killed a hag. So I now have access to the totem collar. Some of the chosen totem sentry at your cursor's position. Right-click to switch between four totem elements. 21 to 40. This is hurtful. All right. Um, okay, there's that guy. Yeah, there's four different elements you can choose from with the totems. Each one has different effects and so on and so forth. So, I mean, they're not not a bad thing to have. I mean, definitely could be better. Now, good, I just used up a bunch of wood, so. But yeah, six more rooms. And get that and that put away, I think. We'll go ahead and put that away. So, what else was I going to do here? Oh, yeah, full of vine. Uh, their Polivine actually drops a sentry weapon, so... Alright, let's try it again, but this time actually selecting the search box first. There we go. Let's get, like, uh, two more of these, because actually Polivine was a pretty easy fight, so... And it'll give me something to do while waiting for NPCs to move in. It's flammable. Maybe I should have had the imps out for this one. Oh, gotcha. Oh, wow. That, that did quite a bit of damage, so. Oh, found a block I missed. Alright, got it. I completely forgot I just, like, switched out my uh, sentry. Oh, getting shot at again. Alright, cool. Pull the vine's dead. Now, did I get lucky here? Uh, no. Got the creeping bloom instead. Alright. Come on. Oh, the fireballs bounce even. Well, that's kind of cool.
Ah, freaking spike jungle slime. Poison for a decent amount of time, too, off of that. And... Oh, yep, he managed to hit me before he died. Alright, what do we got now? Um... Legendary Undergrowth Chopper. That's cool, but not what I wanted. Lucky Laudanum. And Calamity. Okay, the Horror debuff lasts twice as long, but instead it grants various buffs to the player. That's just a random chance that that's going to show up whenever you kill a boss. I gotta get more liquid, li uh, uh, liquid radars. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a true melee. But let's see. Yeah, I got a couple idols of pull of mine, which, eh, whatever. Go away. A couple masks. Shoots the pollen, spores, yeah. Whoop de doo, right? Not what I was looking for, though. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. And I, have I had. No, I haven't had a uh, NPC move in yet. Why am I doing that? There's a mirror li literally right here. Literally. Hey, Witch Doctor showed up. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. I, if I remember correctly, he actually sells a minion now. And maybe I should disable the uh, Defiled Rune. I'll be a little more survivable, because enemies won't be able to crit me anymore. And, uh, I'll be able to use my wings. Alright, since the Kendra Spirit and the Ethereum Dark Mages, a pity they are our enemies, I would have liked to have learned from them. Okay. Ah, Mantis King. Okay. Also Dark Pouch, okay. Abominations. What are you? Imbuing Station. Uh, I don't think I need that, actually. Bunch of fountains. We got a blowgun. More fountain. Sunken Water Fountain. Oh, that is cool. Force the surrounding biome state to Sunken Sea upon activation. Sulfuric Water Fountain. Force the surrounding biome state to Sulfuric Sea. Interesting. That could be fun to play with. But this is what I want to mess with here. So, let's, uh, let's head up north. Yes, north, well. Really? You had to be doing a freaking thunderstorm right now? Ah, yes, if I count. Chubby little bat. And, yeah, we're doing 200-ish damage, you know. So let's go ahead and you know, despawn those guys. There we go. And okay, so they're jumping melee minions. And they gouge an enemy, I too. Didn't say something like that? Have a chance to gouge enemies, okay. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and... I put it back in here, didn't I? I did. Put it up here. Can they reach? No, they are very, very limited. Alright. They actually seem to be doing less damage to a minion or an enemy on the ground. Hmm. I mean, I kind of like them, but I don't know how useful they're going to be, honestly. At least against bosses that can fly. That's that's my main issue right now. My main worry. Uh, yeah, probably going to stick with the uh, the Hornets for now, then, I think. And... Bye. What go tink tink? 
Oh, it's one of the Wolfram things. Okay. Hey, we got ourselves a traveling merchant too. And he's actually down by the mirror. All right, shop. What do we got? Oh, bricklayers. Yes. The sitting ducks fishing pole. Oh hell yeah, I'll take that. Um, you know, it's legendary and all that. I'm gonna sell that and that. And might as well sell off like the liquid radars. What else we got? Samsara Lotus healer class. Add tie. Yeah. Fancy dishes. Okay. Prana managed to glitch through the wall. I wondered what the uh, the painter was shooting at. Now I know. Right then. All right. So I get to look, and there's this guy right here. So I managed to make a couple of these guys. Uh, give rare item. Where is your rare item box at? Like, seriously, I'm not seeing this. How about now? There it is. And contract tatters. I think I needed a crafting table, didn't I? Yeah, the ghost just shows up. That's why I've been buying all the stuff from the traveling merchant. And we make ourselves a blank contract. Okay. I think I only have one contract tatter left in here. Yeah, so two. You need three per. But now I have to decide what I want. Like, what do I want the permanent effect of? I'm thinking actually shark tooth necklace would be a really good, really good thing to get going right now. Um, because when I especially get to hard mode, there'll be a lot more things I can actually do with this. With the uh, the contracts, because well, more accessories to actually put on there, and also more more things I can sell to get said thing. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do sh the uh, shark tooth necklace. Permanent five armor penetration. So I just made my basically just added power to all my minion attacks, unless it's against something that has no armor. Oh yeah, to pile rune. Forgot about that. Should have one in in my uh, storage system here. Hey, this thing. And you can start fifty percent more cash. Yeah, can we use revenge as a death? Can we toggle on or off? Yeah. I want to farm. Later on, I can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take off that for a second, though. It's not actually bad flight time, either. Alright, can I get back up there from here? Almost. Okay, so it's not not great. But I can also get triple jump first, so. so I mean not not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Alright. So, next up here, let's go ahead and that and that put away, that can put away, some of that and that. Uh, buckets, please. 
I think I put them back in here. I did. All right. So I need five buckets of water. So. And I seem to have water right here I can grab. Do you mind? And reinforced fishing pole times one, two. Wolf from fishing pole, wooden ocean pole arm from Thorium. What else do I need for... I want that, right? The fishing one, right? M fish gatherer. Uh, I need a palm chest. Okay. Come on. Up. There we go. I'm trying to be all fancy stuff and add it back fire on me. Um, I don't need to open that. I need this. So I want to make... Let me get some palm wood going here. And you can go in there now. Palmwood chest. Thank you. And fish gatherer. There we go. Now LUI AFK's got a fish gatherer too, actually. Which uses these things. 25 silk apiece. They're not well, they're they're not bad actually, because silk is just spider web. It's nothing nothing huge, right? Weird how the audio driver glitches out when I do that. Actually, here we'll just clear that out and we'll search. LUIAFK, I can make some piping now. And. Wall rod. That's actually handy to have, actually, right there. Unlimited glow sticks, arcane, or arena platform builder. Let's apply from 200 blocks wide. Right click to choose options. Choose a campfire, place campfires. Blocks for star slash heart in a bottle. Also place bubble blocks for honey placement. Choosing the light will make the platform be lit up the whole way. Won't destroy tiles. Click where you want the right side of the platform to end. 60 of any torches. Builder's potion. 300 wood. Not bad at all. LUI's got a lot of uh, handy things like that, honestly. Unlimited hotline fishing hook, throws next to line for every five quests. Line never breaks, doesn't need bait. Like the unlimited here, I need 35 bait of any 30% or higher, but then I can have unlimited uh, bait for my, my sitting duck's fishing pole, which is oh, right there. But what I'm looking for is time changer. Hmm. Uh, not that though. And this thing right here, the fish harvester. So I need seven fishing nets. I only made three. Oh, right. And what is this thing called again anyway? The fish harvester? Yeah. All right. So we, how would we just search name? Uh, how much silk do I have? Uh, 36. Actually, that's silk rope. Dang it. Oh, yeah. I used one up. Like 140-ish is what I need. Fish, uh, we'll do that. There we go. And our fish harvester. Can be placed. Requires unlimited rod or normal rod plus bait. Certain items can be placed in the chest for higher quality fish. Catches will be based on the chest location slash biome. Place up to 10 tiles above water. Biome range is 30 tiles in each direction. Cool, but I need bait then, huh? Um, yeah, I got worms. All right. Let's 
Well, that was just a lot of dead goldfish there. I finally let him leave. Alright, and I guess I can place this guy right here. Or not. There, that should be more than enough room in there. There we go. Open him up, give him that. And that. And just because the Dryads, you know, loves nature, I'm going to make her deal with the fish harvester. Or the fish gatherer. Good amount of mushrooms there. Excellent amount of ore. Orium, smooth coal, I mean, all the good stuff, really. Well, aquite, eh, it's not really good stuff, but it works. Alright, let's go ahead and get this put away then. And... I want to get this put away before I accidentally use it. Or put it into my system and then I have to go play find the damn thing. Right, was there any other simple chests I wanted to make? Hallow Gatherer. Uh, what was the Hell Gatherer? Molten Pick. Obsidian Chest. Buckets of Lava. Okay. I need another Guide Voodoo Doll, though. Hmm. Jungle Gatherer requires just a Hornet Banner, and I got that one. Alright. Money Gatherer. Two piggy banks and a gold crown. Or a platinum crown. Ocean requires five buckets of water and a palm wood chest. Okay. Bait gatherer, though. Oh, that recast requires the statues. Uh, block gatherer is a demonite pick. Might be handy in the future. Required objects. Yeah, I need suspicious looking eye, worm bait. Clothier Voodoo Doll, Guide Voodoo Doll, 50 gold coins, regen, iron skin potions, and a bunch of wood platforms. For the boss farmer, better weapons and armor in the chest will increase victory chance. Because it's not 100% chance per summon, and you put the summons in the thing, for one. It's not 100% chance per summon that you'll actually get what you want. Shadow scales, okay. And there's a Crimson Gatherer. Dungeon Gatherer, okay. So I need 100 spikes. I've got 46 so far. Four keys. So all in all, not terrible. Uh, let's go check on... You know what? We'll just do like this for now. And whoop, I don't know why I tried going over there. I want to go here. Uh, so far I've gotten 11 frost dagger fish. A specular fish. So not terrible. Now, i got to wait till morning before I can check the other one. But the other one, I mean, basically it just produces bass. Bass and wooden crates. And you can then upgrade them inside the chest into other things that you want. There we go. And... So, one thing I need to probably do is scout out more of the ice biome, because there is, there's another lab for certain in the biome there. There is... I never did check that out, did I? Oh, I feel smart. Right here. 
Uh, there's more of the, this complex down here. What do we got? We have a star statue. Okay, not bad. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, that's uh, something apparently that spawns now that I uh, killed Batron. It spawns in the biome, the, uh, the granite biome. And, yeah. I think it's supposed to actually drop uh, something unique as well. Ah, yes. Granite teeth. Or granite tooth. Hey, 100th ice. Spiked ice slime. Wow. Alright. Yep. Kill the thing. Awesome. All right, so yep, yeah, poor bat. Not really. Not that fun of bats. Oh, that's a big one. Um, did it drop a tooth? Probably not, honestly. I wonder if it shows up as a rare creature when it spawns in. I have no idea. Yeah, there's a, a granite biome boss, which you thank god you don't have to actually fight in a granite biome. Although this is actually not a bad one except with lava at the bottom to, uh, to fight a boss in. It's uh, relatively nice and open. But uh, yeah, you can summon. You need the uh, the granite teeth to make the summoning of the summon. Ow! Freaking guys! Dropped them right on my head. Oh, that was that little flame mage guy from Thorium. Okay. So yeah. Um. I can't really tell if it's uh, a thing or not because, or if it shows up on the rare creatures. Well, there's a guild of slime nearby. Right about here. Seems to be having some problems with the lava. But yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, did get a little bit of stuff done. Another guild of slime over there. And... I don't know what that was. Uh, next up, though, is probably going to be a Skeletron fight, honestly. So I am going to need to definitely prepare an arena for Oh, god damn it. I forgot about that. Ow, stop, stop, stop. Oh, and we got the flame bad guy. Oh, there he is. Flame kin. I did want to try out this out, though. Ah. Stop. Did not work out so well. Oh, there's Gilded Lichen. Want to try a better pick on this. And I've got the, the Sky Fringe now. I think what I was trying before was with the Platinum. So it may just need a certain pick power to destroy.
What is that? Oh, a cockney beetle? Yep. Oh, yep, he died. Okay. Doesn't like me being up there. Understandable. Freaking ah! Dang it. The knockback, I think, is what's getting me the most. Really is. I will play around with that later. <laughs> it's not going so well for me right now. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series. And until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.